everybody. If that looks like you when doing a hockey stop, or this. Then this video is for you. I'm gonna show you how to fix the two biggest mistakes made when doing a hockey stop. So a few years ago when I released my hockey stock tutorial, the video is in German, but I subtitled them all in English. I'll post the link up top. I got a lot of great feedback and the two major questions I got were, instead of stopping, why am I making a curve? And why is my back leg hanging? And those are really the two most common mistakes when doing a hockey stop. So in this video, I'll show you how to fix them. We'll start right away with the biggest problem, in my opinion, and that, that is you're skating a curve instead of stopping. Kind of looks like this. You want to turn, stop, but somehow you don't really shave the ice, but you do a curve. So I'm going to show you what part of the blade is responsible for stopping and what part of the blade is responsible for skating a curve. All right, so let's take a look at what part of my skate blade is digging to the ice when I'm skating a curve. I'm going to spin around in a circle on my knee. You can see that the heel of my skate blade is digging into the ice to do a curve. If I want to make snow shave the ice like I'm doing a hockey stop, watch what happens. Now it's the middle to the front part of my blade that's shaving the ice to do a hockey stop. So it's really important that you get on the right part of your blade when you're doing the hockey stop. Because if you get on the heel, you'll go around in a circle. If you get on the front part, or the mid part, mid to front, you'll stop. So now I'll show you how to get on the proper part of the blade. So getting on the front part of the blade, or the middle part of the blade, is actually not that difficult. Look at what happens when I'm standing straight. My weight's kind of back on the heels a little bit. Now if I go into a crouch, my weight is transferred more to the front part of the blade. I can almost start actually gliding forward a little bit by myself, just having the weight on the front part of the blade, ever so slowly, but still gliding forward. My weight's on the front. And when the weight's on the front part of the blade, then I can rotate my heel freely to stop. When my weight is on my heels, well then my heel's gonna dig in the ice because I can't turn it. The more my weight is on the front, the more freedom I have to turn my foot into the proper position for stopping. So now you can see when I'm stopping where the snow comes from off the blade. And now if I dig my heels in, my blade just gets stuck in the ice. Stopping front to mid part of the blade, that's how I make snow. When I dig my heel in, the blade just gets stuck into the ice, as you can see again here. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when I stand up straight. Look what the blade does. I'm standing very straight. The toe of the blade lifts up, the heel digs in. Now I'm gonna crouch, lean a bit forward, and the heel lifts up. Standing up too straight, weight on the heels. In a crouch, leaning a little bit forward. I can rotate really nicely with my heels and get into that side stopping position. And it's so important for beginners, especially to learn, even for safety purposes, to bend their knees a little bit more, get their weight a little more forward. Because if you fall forward, it's not really a big deal. You're falling your hands, falling your knees. You don't want to be falling back on your head. And that's what happens usually when you stand up too straight. So the second biggest problem when doing a hockey stop, not quite as big as the first problem, but you do end up stopping, but your back heel drags. I'll show it the other direction. My front foot stops and my, my back foot gets stuck in the ice. So when I'm doing a hockey stop, let's say I want to stop in this direction. My front foot 
is gonna lean inwards a little bit. I'm on my inside edge. My back foot, if I'm gonna, if my back foot's on, this, on the same edge, also leaning in, inwards, it's gonna drag and I don't want that. My back foot actually has to be on its outside edge and it's the outside edge that's doing the stopping for me on my back foot. So, how can I do that? Well, first of all, I wanna stay in my low stance and, but I wanna be leaning back in the other direction that I wanna go. So when I'm skating forward, I'm low and I'm leaning back this way. When I have more speed, I wouldn't make that step back. I'm leaning back this way so I can get on that outside edge. That way, both of my blades will stop and the leg won't be hanging and I won't be hurting my knee. So, another thing you can do, watch me when I stop really fastly. I'll get some, get some speed going, make a quick stop. Watch my back leg. I don't even saw it, I'm gonna to try to slow it down a bit. But my back leg actually lifts up places itself and then glides. So you don't have, you don't run the risk of getting the back leg because it's stuck on the ice the whole time that the back leg starts hanging. If I lift it up, I can place it better underneath my body. This works for some skaters, doesn't work for all skaters, but it is important to let a little bit of weight off of your back leg, because if you don't do that, you won't be able to change from the inside edge to the outside edge and it will get stuck in the ice. So if you don't want to lift the leg like this, then at least try to let a little bit of weight off of it. Initially put more weight on the front leg and as, well, as you go into the stop, then transfer your weight back to the back leg. It's in fact actually quite hard for me to stop without lifting my back leg a little bit, but for some players, it works. So you can see here in slow motion how my back leg lifts up, comes underneath my body and places itself on the outside edge before stopping. One more time, also watch how my body's actually leaning in the opposite direction of the stop. So make sure you remember those two important things when doing a hockey stop. Always bend your knees, lean a little bit forwards a bit. That will allow their heels to rotate a little bit and stop that back leg from hanging. Either lift it up or at least let a little bit of weight off of it so it can slide underneath and then you lean back into a stop. Hope you like this video. Hope you could help. I could help you stop a little better. If you like the vid, make sure to click on like and subscribe. Have fun out there on the ice.